Hello, fellow wrestling crusaders, and welcome to another episode. My name is Sean Waskrug. With me, as always, is Jordan J.P.O. Owens. And we are four days now away from Royal Rumble, which means that it's now time to discuss our predictions, what we think is going to happen. Uh, I have steered as far clear as I can away from any wrestling news because I don't want to read any spoilers. There's already people popping up saying, oh, this person's coming. And I'm like, nope, nope, stay away. Stay away. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Uh, now, I'm in the same boat. If it's true, I don't want to know it. And if it's bullshit, I don't want to also know because who cares? Yeah, because so, I don't want to get my up. <laughs> yeah, because because there is plenty of reports every year. They're like it's so and so, and it never is. You know, Xbox been mentioned for four years now. Like, so yeah, I think we'll I think, I think they asked Xbox last month, and he was like, "Yeah, I could show up for like uh, one night." He's like, "But I'm about probably six weeks away from like being willing to wrestle with my shirt off." And I was like, "It's like that's always the that's always the legend, even coming from me who's been retired." Is would you really want to come back? How long can it be till I'm okay to wrestle with my shirt off? Because I refuse to wrestle with my shirt on. So it's one of those things that's like, I'm about this many weeks away from being able to do that. So that's how long it would take me to get ready. <laughs> but nice. I, lo- I love that that was his mindset because that would be my mindset too. Because I've, ha- I've been asked that. I've been asked, hey, when you, are you ever going to come back up to Nebraska and, and wrestle? And so I'm like, I would love to. But I'd have to get I'd, I'd have to like lock myself down. Sean, like, are you in the rumble? Tell the truth. Are you number 30? Hell yes, I'm number I'm number thirty. Don't you guys know I'm wrestling? Here, here, here. I'm wrestling. I'm wrestling Seth for the injury, the you know the knee injury at WrestleMania, guys. Come on, <laughs> uh, me and him have history <laughs> that no one knows about. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, the, the the whole spoiler stuff. I try to steer clear of. Like literally, the only time I hopped on for wrestling news this past week was to check on Seth because obviously that was the biggest news. That's why we waited till now yeah, yeah. to to talk about it because. Yeah. Uh, last night on Raw, he was coming out. I was legitimately worried because usually, um, and I, I said this to you before we shot the last episode, was that like unless you're on Twitter or on the wrestling news stuff, no one knew Seth was hurt. And SmackDown was openly like, Seth will you know open up the show to talk about his current status as champion due to injury. I'm like, oh, shit. Usually when they say that, that means it's not good. And he played us. So well. I, did, I called it. I called it. I had yeah. hopes that he would do. Well, here, here, here's my, here's my thing. Cause I was watching with my girlfriend and I'm like, he's walking out with the brace on, you know, he's selling it pretty good. And this is where I kind of was like, okay, he's playing mm-hmm. us is because coming from someone who has torn his ACL, MCL meniscus, all that crap all at once. If you have a chance to enter the ring and you have a chance of just hopping on the apron and rolling in or getting going on the steps and stepping in, you roll into the ring. You roll. You don't put your first your injured foot on the first step and then push yourself up. Because I'm not saying he's not hurt. He is. He's got a grade two, which is not great, but not the worst case scenario. Grade three would have been the worst. But as soon as he started getting on the steps and, and climbing in that one, I'm like, he might be not as bad as he's laying it on. Because I would not, if I had a grade three, which I did, I would not be using the steps if I had to. I was like, I would be rolling my ass into that ring <laughs> and trying not to put as much I, weight I on always, the I always had some faith, too, because you, they do have to kind of explain why he's probably not going to wrestle till Mania now. You know what I mean? I and mean, also too, I do feel more and more. That's what need to. But wouldn't that be a little askew if they didn't explain it? Because that's been the whole... I'm doing oh, yeah. this all the time. He's done several raw defenses, you know, way more than obviously you know Roman has. So I do think it would have been a little askew of just all of a sudden. It's only J- it's January 20, whatever, right? 22nd, uh, that it happened. If he didn't wrestle the entirety of February and the, whatever, when is Mania? In the end of March or? No, it's the second. Uh, it's the first weekend of April, I think. It's I think it's the fourth. Oh, so so literally, that's two full months that he's. Oh, he's, he's got wrestle. he's got eleven he's got eleven weeks he's yeah, got eleven yeah. weeks to get ready. So I think it would be a little askew if he didn't wrestle. I think people would start to question, well, you know, why? And also, too, I do think we um, we live in the world of, yeah, maybe a, a majority of fans might not have known, but enough did to where, like, let's make it a little story. Let's make it a, you know, a little bit of a hype, you know? Well, here, here's my here's my whole question about it, too. At April 6th and 7th, that's when Mania is. Okay. Um, why not have Damien do the cash-in and have Seth, you know, have Seth be like have have Seth be like a oh, not not necessarily a mystery, but have Seth 
get his rematch at Mania with pretend it, it could be a three way. So that way, maybe it will take some of the levity off of Seth's knee, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, you have an ability right now to pull the belt off of Seth and give Damien a, a couple months to, to hold the title. Cause you don't want to, you don't want to go and put it on like someone like punk or Cody or someone big like that, but you have the ability at this point, especially cause it does. Cause storyline wise, we know Seth's hurt. Seth is hurt, but Damien's not going to cash. Why? Mm. You got to make it make sense. I mean, that, that's, 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 that's a good logic. Because I do Damien's think that's Rumble, logic though. They Damien's made the, in right the Rumble choice. right now. And it's like, he doesn't need to be in the Rumble. He's got a title shot. Two, two title defenses. It, okay. two, like, exactly. Two but my point shot. is, if, if, if Seth can barely walk, why wouldn't you jump him and cash in right at that moment? You got to make it make sense. Can you? Maybe I'm overthinking this. Can you cash in on somebody just in the middle of a promo? As it always you can cash in. You can cash in match? At any, most of the time. I think it ha- I think someone has cashed in after uh, a promo jump. I think I think I can't remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure it was like Cena got attacked uh, during a promo or something like that, and someone tried to run out, but I don't think it actually. I, it was one of those like fake outs, like they were trying to. Get right, out. right. Yeah, I'm so trying to think of that. Yeah, to it's definitely majority. It doesn't have to. It really changes the match or it's after a match. Yeah, it, it's at any moment he can cash in. He could catch in on a backstage segment, but then they'd have to get his ass into the ring because it's not false count See, anywhere. I, I don't know. They've never set that precedent though. I don't know. I've never, the never done the backstage. It's interesting. Cash in at any moment. It doesn't have to be. I don't understand. I've just never seen it. I, I think we yeah. close the action now. I kind of want to see it. Yeah, I was, um, I was like the whole night. I was like, because like a wrestler was holding. Now is the time to cash in. I was like, yeah, man, no, it, it is very totally, true. It is totally the time. It is to very cash true. In. And then once yeah, Gunther should... came out, I was like, I was like, yeah. he's he's no, because they wouldn't if if they, if he was like relinquishing the belt, they would give Seth his full time. They'd let him do his thing out of respect. But as soon as Gunther came out, I was like, he's not done. No, he's he's good. Like he's not good, but he's good for Mania kind yeah. of thing. And so, like, they kind of gave it away at that point, which I'm fine. Great. I want Seth to work. I don't want Seth to not have the belt or at least not be at Mania because I want Seth. Nothing's worse for a worker when you've been building up to a match, Mania, mainly. And you had the storyline planned out. You're ready ready to go. And then right around this time, you get injured. And also, it's like, dude, I was going to, like, man. Granted, he Roman's going to main event the show. We get that. But he might main event night one. Yeah, he might main event night one. And it's like, dude, you don't want to miss your opportunity to main event main. And it's like, so it's like at any point, if he can, if he can go, he can go. But I also don't want him to push it, which granted, like I said, the the chances of him working a match between now and Mania, slim to none. Because they ain't going to risk it. They ain't going to worry. Why risk it? Exactly. Exactly. You're not going to risk a slip on the ropes or anything like that and then have him not. And then you've been building all this up for, for nothing. Seth ain't, Seth might step in the ring yeah, like he, he really did tonight. Play. Like if I was Seth, yeah. I would start wearing one of those full leg casts, like the one that goes from thigh all the way down to calf. Start, start keep designing them. Thing. Yeah, keep that thing as secured as possible. Kind of like yeah. what uh, Triple H wore when he tore his ACL when he was in DX. He's got to keep the drip though going, and he's got to make. I know. He's got to bedazzle yeah. them. Different <laughs> one every week. Yeah, no, being serious, I think it'd be great. Yes, yes, yes. Design his own. Him and Becky it will design their own me stuff for the whole thing. But that was that was the thing too. Is it's like there had to have been a, there should have been a reason instead of Gunther coming out, which I love. I loved that promo. I did. I loved everything about that. They should have had Damien come out with with judgment and go, "Oh shit." You know, here we go. And Seth's like, all right, I'm I'm not in this. I'm going to sue, but I'm going to have to defend the title. And have Damien go, I want to beat you for this belt, but I'm not going to beat you like this. I want to beat you when you're when you're at your best. And that's right. why I'm not going to cash it. That, like, because Damien. There was a reason. Like, yeah, exactly. Just and like yeah, he's, he's been kind Damien, of tweening. Yeah, he's tweening right now. And that would, yes, that's a face move. And then that would even make even more sense on why him and Rhea were arguing backstage. Rhea going, why, why didn't you do it? Why didn't you do it? It's like, cause I'm, you know, cause like, yes, I, there's been times where I tried to cash in when he's been hurt, but this is something different. I'm not going to do it this way. And you can still have that little divide with judgment day. You know, they're not going to break up, but Rhea's going, what the hell, you know, kind of thing. And it would have worked, but it, it, it makes, it makes Damien look stupid. 
for not cashing in. And then, of course, losing later that night to Drew. But that was a whole R-Truth thing, which still yeah. it, it still is hilarious. But I'm, and I'm, I'm still loving it, the whole Tominic thing. I, but, I, yeah. I, I do agree with some logic would have been nice. I, I don't agree that, like, he should have cashed in as far as, like, from a booking standpoint. Because I do think the money mm-hmm. is on Punk and Rollins. You know, I mean, more than a tri- – I think a triple threat will just kind of murky it. But, yeah, they, it would be nice to have a bit of a logic to, like, you know – at least if he's not if, doing if they would have cashed in, you could have potentially made uh, a title match at at, at uh, Rumble for with with Damian. You could have had him ch- go against Drew for the title. I mean, just or at Rumble, so that way there's just another match. Because right now, unless they're going to start adding matches un- unknowingly to the card, it's still just a four match pay per view. It was That's only five match. last year, so yeah. there's really only room for one more. Um, and I actually, I would, I would not be it. all that surprised if it is just four. I honestly, with the way the way the New Day and Imperium were, I would like let them let them. I thought burn. they were actually. I thought they because they ended in no count, no double count out. I thought yeah. they were maybe set up like okay, fine, fuck it, tornado rules Sunday. Balls you know count I mean? anywhere. Let them battle it. wherever they want. But then it's like no, because they yeah. want Kofi for the Rumble, so Kofi can do whatever stunt he does, which, you know, like I said, last year he failed, but you know what? They want Kofi to do his Kofi thing, which I get it. And they've already announced Kofi is in the rumble. So as as of right now, which is Tuesday, eight people have been announced for the rumble, only one on SmackDown. (laughs) So it's an all, it's an all raw rumble right now. Um, and I mean, great. We know there's going to be more, but as of right now, there's only eight, eight wrestlers in the rumble and seven of them are raw. And only four women, um, which I think all of them were on the show last night. Uh, actually, no, Bianca was not on the show. But uh, only four women have been announced so far. So there's still a ton. Now they could be dumping a lot of them on SmackDown, saying, oh, blah, blah, blah. Here's, and they do the little promo things. They could still do it. Didn't they do that last year? Didn't they start dumping little promos at the end, right, right before Mania or right before Rumble? I'm not sure. I don't remember, but possibly. I could have sworn that it wasn't last year. It was the year before that. I was like, oh, they're bringing it back kind of thing. But – so speculation wise for predictions, um, okay, let's let's go through uh, KO and Logan. I think you and I both are kind of in agreement. Logan's going to retain. A yeah. he hasn't had a title shot yet. So unless Lo- unless there's something that that with Logan's schedule, that's not going to allow him to do certain things. I don't see any reason to take the belt off Logan. But Logan needs to start wrestling more. Because yeah, yeah. I mean, would you would you agree? Oh, I was going to say, yeah, the only reason I would say Logan loses the title to KO is if for some reason he's like, oh, shit, y'all, I forgot. April 6th or whatever rainy is, I'm over in whatever film does this or that. And I got to go reason is some if random got, old UFC exactly. <laughs> like That would be the only reason, because otherwise, yeah, Logan's reign technically has just started as far as defenses are going to go. And I also, again, kind of like what I'll kind of spoilery say with Roman, I think even if his defenses hadn't started yet, I feel like Mania will be where if he could lose it, he'll lose it then. Not not necessarily right now, especially now that it's already started. I agree. Which and before we even, even speculate who at Mania, we'll wait till after Rumble's over. And probably That's hard to say, yeah. That that field's kind of open really for the US. Yeah, so if really, anything, what what you, what, you and I, what you and I might do, and we'll we're announcing this right now on the show. Uh after after Monday, after Monday. We'll probably shoot our reaction to Rumble because we'll have the Raw after Rumble. And then probably a week later, probably after that SmackDown, we'll probably then start speculating our stuff. Start going, hey, where are we thinking right Mania is going to go? Our road to WrestleMania, yeah. what, what's happening to you? Um, because right now, like, you, you know, we don't know where Logan's going. Now, Rumble could show that. And we go, okay, Logan's going to work Ricochet or whoever. Yeah. We don't know. But Ricochet's on Raw. Now, I think Logan's just going to get a nice win. And then, like I said, it's just going to be. What's the next chapter, which will start? Who knows? Like, because he doesn't wrestle that much and Rumble's in April. I'm sorry, Mania's in April. They might not even, we might not even see Logan for another two or three weeks. Which, once again, that's the problem. We, we got no titles on SmackDown then, except for Eo. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I hope that I hope I'm wrong. And like you said, I agree that, like, it would be nice if he popped up on SmackDown and, like, fought, you know, whatever, you know, Cameron Cam Grimes, like, real quick or something. But so, so here's my question to you then Women's Rumble. Mm-hmm. Do we see anyone outside of these four that have been announced winning this rumble? Oh man. Because I'm um, sorry, every every storyline right now is leading to these four women being A, the final four, and and yeah. B, which they won't, because they'll have to have some sort of, you know, screwy 
third or fourth person in there. But is there anyone on the card right now outside of Nia, Bailey, Bianca, and Becky that you could see potentially pull out a win? So whenever you think about the Rumble winners, you always got to think of the two about the titles. You know what I mean? Yeah. So with the men, I feel like you know now that we know Rollins is probably going to make it to Mania, we're kind of set on Rollins will be there, probably Roman. With the women, I don't think you know Rhea's not dropping it randomly. I think a chamber. She's you know not. I mean? feuding, she's not feuding with anyone right now. So there's no. Exactly. She's gonna wrestle. So she's gonna wrestle. I feel that safe. Her. I could see a world where instead of Bailey winning the Rumble, someone else wins it and maybe challenges for the women's title, and like Bailey ends up, you know, EO Sky loses it before the Rumble. Maybe EO loses it in Chamber. I see that world possibility. Um, but I do think, yeah, right now, all I can say is, yeah, it's probably one of the likely people. So, but I'm just saying, I, I so think where there is a possibility. Where do you think it's going to go? Where do you think it's going to go? Uh, this one's a little bit tougher than the men's because, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm 100% sold on Bailey winning it, but I'll go I'll go with Bailey taking it. Okay. Although I'm not confident in it. I'm, I'm going one of two routes because I'm, I'm thinking of Chamber as well in, in this mindset. Either mm. Bailey's going to win. And boom, we got Bailey EO because because they've yeah. been they've been building up Bailey getting tossed out of damage control since Oscar and, yeah. and Kyrie have joined. Um, so either boom, Bailey wins it, and then Elimination Chamber is gonna. I, I think Rhea is gonna have to defend the title in the chamber, and she's gonna have Nia, Becky, all them in it, or something like that. And then whoever gives her the toughest fight in that will get the title shot at Mania, or. Becky Becky wins Rumble, sets it up for um, sets it up for uh, Mania with Rhea, and then Elimination Chamber is going to be uh, the title shot for Mania against EO, and which then Bailey will win, and everyone's like, "What the hell are you going to do?" And then the night after Elimination Chamber is when Damage Control jumps Bailey. I feel like that is it's going to go one of those two roads. I don't think Nia Jax yeah. winning the Rumble. I don't think anyone really wants Nia to win the Rumble, which is why. I feel like if Nia win or if if uh, if Becky wins the Rumble, then Nia is wrestling uh, Rhea at Chamber in in a one. Get that out of the way, yeah. Yeah, to get, to get it to, to burn that thing off out of the way. The the only twist on yours I would make because I think those are are the, they are the front runners is I would maybe have like Damage Control turn on Bailey before Chamber, have Bailey win that as a face, get that going a little bit quicker. It could very well could very well could, but I'm just trying to figure out. Even start with the rumble, even make it work. Like maybe they all look at her in the rumble. And go, sorry, we don't like you. Who the fucking dunk her and I can start I'm it. Assuming like, that they're the even in the. That's assuming they're even in the rumble because they haven't even advertised Oscar or Kyrie or. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, hoping I'm hoping Dakota yes. will be in the rumble. I'm hoping. That'd be Dakota a nice surprise. I, I also thought about that too. I think yeah. I think I don't see the reasoning why, unless there's a random no. They're doing this. they doing the women's tag titles on Friday. There's no, I don't think there's any reason why they wouldn't be in the Rumble. Uh, usually, it's pretty much every major woman on Raw and SmackDown. You would think, you would think, and then, and then yeah. probably Michelle McCool will pop in, and and, and you I hope Jay not, McCool. but <laughs> why? Michelle McCool's been great. I just want, I just want different people. I like the weird ivory appearance. I like the weird, you know what I mean. I just want to see different people. We've done McCool to death, is all I'm saying. Okay, all right, stick, sticking sticking to the women's Rumble. It's because she's been so good in both of them. Like, let her come. No, out. yeah, I'm, I'm not, like, I don't hate it. Like, I wouldn't hate on it by any means. But I'm just saying, like, I want. I, I don't know. The same thing with the men's. I mentioned kind of on a previous episode. All right. Like, Booker Booker T was kind of a boring surprise to me because they literally have done that surprise already. You know. All Twice. right. So let's three times. Let's stick with women's rumble. We already we already yeah, yeah. have who we think we're gonna win. Yeah. Give me one legend outside of Michelle McCool that you would like to see surprise show up in the rumble. And give me at least one NXT girl you want to see go in and actually put on a performance. Uh, off the top, of the dome ski. I'm gonna say Jazz. Yeah, <laughs> say jazz. Jazz. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, you know what, man? She you go rock fan? Really... No. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm not actually surprising enough. I'm gonna go with somebody that's actually really won me over in the year 2023, Tiffany Shred. What is she? Now I don't watch NXT as 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 much as I do the others, just because I'm still meh, on it. Has she, what's she been doing lately? Has she been doing anything? 
they did a, they've done a kind of a gimmicky storyline where like she lost to the country girl, so she became the country girl's assistant, and you know, the, so the rich prissy girl had to like dig horse poop and stuff like that. So, uh, so she's still doing storyline stuff, but that's why I think it's kind of perfect now. Like she's not in the title picture right now. I think she yeah. proved that she's good enough to be on the main roster. And oh, like I, I said, to me, she yeah. had a breakout year in 2023 because I was kind of whatever with the gimmick. She you know, proved she too. proved her match with Becky that she can hang. Yeah. It wasn't the, yeah. it wasn't a it wasn't a perfect match, mind you, by any means. But I think she proved that she can hang at least with some of the women that are in the main roster right now. It's yeah. just is she going to be a WrestleMania call up or is she going to be a Royal Rumble call up? That's the whole. That's that's the big thing. It's not well, a matter. Right. Of, I think she's yeah. she's kind of perfect for a Rumble to me anyway because I don't know if her if she's I don't want to say big enough for uh, like a post mania call up, but like I don't know. Yeah. I think she's kind of perfect for Rumble. I will, here. I'll say I'll say for my legend. And I'm trying to think of someone, and granted, she might have been in the last couple of years, but I'm just going because obviously I would love Mickey, but she was in it last year, so I'm not going to pick Mickey again. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I'm not going to go Lita Trish because they've been around. I'm going to go with Victoria because mm. I've always liked Victoria. Yeah, yeah. I think she can go. I think she can still work. Um. Granted, she probably won't be in it very long, but that has to be. Yeah, I, I, I would be. I, happy I will to say. I hope if if there is legends, I do hope oh, that there's they find a, a medium ground. Well, I just, with the women's, I think we're almost certainly are. The men's is questionable, uh, but I just hope they find a medium ground because sometimes I feel the legends and surprises are gone too quick. Like sometimes it's literally just like it's me, one move and I'm out. Like well, you know, I want to bring. They don't mean a marathon, but give me something. When you bring Kelly Kelly in, what are you expecting her to do? Like Kelly Kelly, she was, probably, in, she was probably in too long. There's been worse yeah, ones than Kelly that. Kelly can barely wrestle when she was in the WWE. And you put There's her in there. Like, what are you expecting here? I don't yeah. think anyone was excited to see Kelly Kelly show up. That's like bringing Candice Michelle back. And it's like, really? Really? Candice Michelle got better towards her She last got year. better, but I still don't she want did. to see her work. I, I defend Candice Michelle, and she also seems like a sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> Kelly I'm sure. Kelly seems I'm sure. nice, but yeah, fuck her. Yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In terms of NXT, uh, I don't think she's really done much. I think she's, I think she's kind of like Braun Breaker right now. I think she's just stuck, waiting to get bumped up, and she just hasn't yet. I gotta go, Gigi. I gotta go, Gigi. I was gonna say she came to mind for sure. Yeah. If, if Ivy, if Ivy Nile hadn't already been up, I would have said Ivy. Uh, but definitely Gigi. We gotta get Gigi up to the main roster. I mean, and yeah. usually with the women's uh, more than the men's, like they, I don't wouldn't be surprised if we're both right or if there's just more than one. There's there's been several rumbles where it's been several surprises. Like oh, it's Zia Lee and it's so and so and it's so and so. Because again, there's Who? more spots to fill. I feel. Yeah. Oh, where the hell has she been? They they Dude. pushed her and then they just dropped her ass. I know we just started the show, but if we had been doing the show for the last two years, I think we would have said this in like three different episodes. Where the hell has she been? Because again, I feel like they started her cool. really cool intro, stopped, heel, stop. Here's her versus stop. Becky and, and Lyra, and then she lost both matches, and then poof, gone. It's like she's good. She's really good. I actually really want to see her, but she just disappeared after like two weeks of Becky and Lyra. And to never be seen again. And then she'll probably pop up like in the rumble and everyone be like, Oh, yeah, she'll be right there rumble. he is. Yeah. And then she'll probably be in for like 10 minutes and then get tossed. Um, going to uh, the world title or. Hold on. Hold on. I want to ask, ask you real quick. What's that? I want to ask you, I want to, I want to ask you real quick though, before we move off the women's. Okay. Um, and any, uh, any thoughts on uh, Sasha and Trinity? <laughs> I think if any Sasha of them, Naomi? I think, po- I think any possibilities. I think if any of them are going to show up, it's going to be Naomi. I don't think they waste Sasha on, uh, on Royal Rumble. Sasha is a is a is a after WrestleMania or at WrestleMania. Sasha's too big. You don't put her in the Rumble to get to a Mania match. You're not going to give her the win. I think I think no, Bailey. Okay. I think Bailey and Becky are such a lock at being the winners that um because if you don't give it to Bailey and you're not gonna do the Bailey turn yet, then you're gonna run it till SummerSlam and it's gonna be too long. Uh I think I think Sasha is a a if if Sasha resigns, because I've heard she is and she is, she's gonna go to AEW. She I have no idea. But I feel like Sasha 
is 100% a WrestleMania or night after WrestleMania or SmackDown after WrestleMania uh, comeback. Um, definitely not Rumble. Naomi is because with Naomi, Naomi is a is a like flashy you know fan favorite, but she was she's not she was never on the level of like Charlotte, yeah. Sasha, Bailey. So her showing up at Rumble because of her entrance and stuff makes more sense. Yeah. And her going in there and being flashy than her being like a big night at the WrestleMania because it was like, oh, cool, Naomi's back. And it was like, where it's like Sasha's like, oh my God, it's Sasha. You know, so I think if we get one, it'll be Naomi, Trinity, whichever name. She'll probably be back to Naomi. Um, yeah, being, really I feel like if we get one, like, are you honestly think Sasha would show up or uh, Monet? I do. I, I think oh, I might have frozen there. Yeah, you did for you did freeze. I was just waiting for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's possible. Nothing, think you that. Said, nothing you said came through on my end. It might have on the no, play. I'm, I'm yeah. going. I'm going. Yeah, true. Well, if I'm saying it twice, oops. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean, I think there's a world. You know what I mean? It's hard to know with how people feel. You know what I mean? And also just, you know, is she going to debut in AEW soon? I don't know. But, you know, I think she could see the grass isn't greener. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I think this, to me, like I said, to me, if you're going to debut her, or return her, this sets up a Mania match, maybe. Or, as you said, just save it for post-Mania, and then she can go right into a title picture, you know? That, I, I feel I feel like with Sasha, that's 100%. But Naomi, yeah, I feel like that's more of a safer bet. All right, so going to the world, uh, undisputed universal champion, whatever the hell they're calling it now, because it's like four different things in one. Um, as much as I'd love Randy to win, I, I mean, Roman's winning. There's no chance Roman's losing this belt. Not before Mania. Yeah. It, it would, as much as we love Royal Rumble as a pay per view, you're not having Roman drop this belt at, at Rumble. He's drop he's dropping it at Mania or or SummerSlam. It's gonna be one of those two events. He's not dropping it any sooner or, or any other event other than that. Would you agree? Disagree? My God, a thousand percent. Yeah. Listen, I I love Randy. I love AJ. I love LA Knight in a different time frame. I'm fine with any one of them taking it, but yeah, when you're this close on such an epic reign, it almost makes zero sense to do it. You know what I mean? Like you're two months away. You here's, save it for me. Yeah. Here's the perfect case scenario for me. It's not gonna happen because they haven't done this in a long time. I would put I would have granted one of the rumble the women's it opens the show. It's always gonna open the show. I would then have Roman. And the four-way happened right after the women's match or the women's rumble. So that way, after Roman wins, Randy, LA Knight, and AJ get to be in the rumble. Because SmackDown, outside of Bobby Lashley, is severely lacking star power for this rumble. Because as much as I like Karrion Cross, he's not going to be considered <laughs> a favorite to win the thing. Your favorites are all locked up in this one match. And there have been rumble, rum, ugh, there have been rumbles where a championship match was on earlier in the night, and the loser was able to be in the rumble. Yeah. So have Roman's match yeah, gone back and forth? Yeah, there's been several. Yeah, have Roman's match be earlier on the card, so that way we allow Randy, AJ, and LA Knight to be in the rumble to add to that star power, to add to that. Well, shit, they might win. Maybe Rome, maybe Orton got screwed and he had a chance to beat Roman and he got, you know, knocked out because of Solo or Jimmy or something. And he had Roman's number. So here comes Randy in the Rumble and he might have a chance. Something like that. Uh, because, like I said, based off the roster right now, I'm not seeing anyone on SmackDown outside of Lashley, unless you can recall anyone that I'm missing that would be considered a favorite to win a, the Rumble outside uh of Lashley. Cameron Grimes, I think, has a shot. I like Cameron Grimes, but no. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I, yeah. I, no, I was going to say, I'm of two minds. I mean, like, my instinct is I kind of like to have, you know, the, not have the spots of somebody new. But yeah, like you are saying, I mean, the fact that there really is only one SmackDown front runner, and, you know, it kind of sucks. So, like, yeah, if you're looking to have a little more star power to your match, now this would make sense, because that's why I was even surprised they did the four-way. My initial instinct was, oh, they're going to do Roman and Randy. Well, that's a new challenger for Roman. You know what I mean? Put AJ and LA in the, in the Rumble. And everybody, I was like, oh, you just sucked up two more of your top stars. You know what I mean? And just blocked them. Because you, at least with LA, 
you put LA in the Rumble, there's that underdog outside chance that LA at least makes the Final Four, if not the Final Two. And by taking LA and putting him in that title match, it's like, uh, I mean, cool, he's getting another title shot, but it's like, he's not going to win it, so why waste him in this match when he could be in the Rumble and he could go, he, he can get a Gunther-like like Iron Man uh, match in here and, and like go in lengthily and build a build LA Knight up more and more by, by having a lengthy run in the rumble. Uh, AJ doesn't need it. Randy doesn't need it They're If anything, they would be 15 and higher in the rumble, but LA you could have come in at like top five and have him go almost to the end and, and build it up even further as that, like he's, he's dedicated, he's striving to get back to Roman. So he's got to win the rumble kind of thing. Um, because like I said, I just, I don't see anything unless they just want to go for utter shock. But like, if I was going, if I was betting, I would bet my house that Roman's winning the bell or keeping the title. Um, I, I don't see a few. And the only, the only way I see Roman yeah. dropping the bell, yeah, we're, we're doing confidence. Gets, yeah. The only way I see Roman losing is if he gets injured in the match and he cannot and legitimately cannot continue which is a worst case scenario. No one wants to actually have that happen, but there's no, there's no chance Roman loses this match. Um, yeah. So going to the, to the actual Royal rumble, the men's Royal rumble. Oh, we've um, got Jade Cargill, by the way, Jade Cargill probably in the rumble. What do you think? <sighs> no, save it. I feel, I feel like she's still someone that'd be post WrestleMania. Okay. Because they, they spent so much time building her. either, either that, or she's going to get the Gunther rub from last year. Where she comes in and she's in the, like the top three s- slots, and she runs the gamut to look fierce. Um, so if you're not going to do that with Jade, then there's no reason to have Jade go in there. Then that's it, or you save her for Mania because clearly you're not using her for an XT. Because if you were, you would have done. You would have brought her in already. Um, she's popped up on every show, not done anything, but she's popped up on every show. She's already teased all the champs. So if you're gonna have her show up, you know, you would have already had her in NXT. She probably would be champion right now, or you're building her out to be on, go right to the main card, which once again, if you're going to do it in rubble, she's got to have a Gunther like run or you're saving her for post WrestleMania. And if Rhea wins the belt at mania against Becky, Nia, whoever, then you have Jade show up on Raw, being like, "I'm next," and 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 you you build it that way. I wouldn't be upset if she showed up though. But Jade's always been one of those, even through AEW, where it's like she has limitless potential, but I haven't seen it yet. She's got flashes of greatness, but she's also sloppy, like it like a green wrestler would, because she's still very green. Hopefully, this time that she's been hidden, they've been working on her to tighten her up a little bit, and they very well could be. Um, but, I mean, even some of the top-tier wrestlers on the main roster are still making some sloppy mistakes. And they some of them need to go back down to, to, to Performance Center and, and tighten it up a little bit. But, yeah, with Jade, that's, that's where I would think. I wouldn't be upset if she showed up, but she needs to have a lengthy... She can't show up and then be a, like you know, all team up on her and throw her out of the ring right away. Cause at that point you've made her a joke. She's Omos at that point. <laughs> and she should, she's, she's not Omos. <laughs> so don't do that. Also don't waste a spot on Omos, please. She just, I get, he's big. Don't waste a spot on him. He's not going to. So you- go into the men's. Tell you get. There are, they totally are. They totally are. Uh, go into the men's. Uh, obviously, like I said, there's eight men announced right now. I feel like it's pretty much, if we want to spread it out, it's a four, maybe five man race. Because you got Cody, you got Punk, you got Gunther, you got Drew, and you've got, um, uh, wow, like on the fifth one. I mean, Jay, Jay's not in the Rumble yet, but I would say Jay's probably an outlier as well. Because I'm not, I don't see Bobby winning because carrying Cross or someone from there is probably going to cost him the match. I love Shinsuke. Shinsuke is not winning, so it's basically I would say between Drew, Punk, Cody, and Jay if they want to throw an outlier there. Um, do you think even those four? Or do you think it's it's just going to be Punk or Cody? 
I think it's Punk and Cody by a decent amount. Gunther a little bit behind them with Gunther or Jay behind, a little bit behind Gunther, everybody else. I'm not even considering Drew. Uh, Drew couldn't win the world title, you know, three, two, three times in a row. Drew's just a big name to where, you know, I'm glad they're hyping more than uh, a couple names, but Drew's just a hype name. He's, yeah, it's down to, it's down to those four, really those two in my opinion. I think I think the big thing with Drew is his contract. No one really knows what's going on with Drew yet. Now, if he had signed like a new deal, I would I would put Drew higher because Drew has been great these last few months. I've loved Drew like Drew's new character these last few months. I, I've enjoyed his matches, which I always enjoy Drew's matches. I, but, I wanted yeah. him to be Seth, yeah, like not a knock on Seth. Exactly. I, I, was, I wanted I, I wanted him to be Seth too. Thing. Exactly. Um. I don't see Gunther winning because they're not gonna they're not gonna do IC they're not gonna do WrestleMania six all over again. They're not gonna do that. Um I would love Gunther to win. If Gunther won, I would be ecstatic do you if Gunther won. Do you think um, there's a world happen. there's a world where Gunther wins, you do Rock versus Roman, Gunther Seth, and Cody Punk? There's a possibility of that, but I also still think that because unless you're going to have Gunther drop the title, I don't think they're going to wait. Well, I, it's it's one of those things where it's like if if Gunther wasn't already been champ like this and he was just like, oh, he's been the champ for two months, then I could totally see them not worrying about an IC title match at Mania. But Gunther has brought so much prestige to the IC belt now, he's got to defend the belt at Mania. He's got to. Um, well, that's why you do the Mania 90. You do World versus IC and... Seth wins. He's the IC champ for that time being. But Seth doesn't want the belt, so it's like cool. Have it back. I don't need this. Why wouldn't Seth like both? Seth did it with the US. He did, but that was a younger Seth. That was a younger Seth, a less injured Seth. No, I think Seth he was still, no one's not going to say no to a second title, especially in Mania, and be only the second person I, to ever do it. First time in I thirty don't, years. Let's put it this way. If Gunther and Seth are going title for title, Gunther's winning. I don't see Seth winning it in that case. I don't. Oh, yeah. I wasn't. Uh, no, my, my my thing is go with Gunther then if that was the thing. No, it's like here, here, here's, here's, your, here's, here's how yours goes. Seth wins. Wins both the world and the IC. Damien cashes in. Wins the world title. Seth stays IC champion. So that way he at least walks out with a belt. That's... <laughs> That's like the Kurt Angle, like uh, like losing the IC and the European in the same match callback kind of thing. But um, but yeah, I, mean, I don't. You actually just told me a little bit more though. That'd be interesting if Priest cashed in and was like, "No, I'm both." Like he was the dual champ, so now I'm the dual champ. Like eh, that's kind of cool. At that point, then we're stuck to having one belt on Raw because <laughs> he's just gonna hold both belts. Oh, and then on Raw, the they make him belt. for vacate the IC. You know what I mean? Or he. He, in his own rights, vacates the IC. I'm just saying, but for that night, like before they vacate it, like he he does it double chance. I would I would love if when Gunther loses the belt, and this is not Gunther's fault, so I'm not blaming this on Gunther. I would love if he lost the belt, and then whoever got the new belt, they brought back the old IC belt because I hate the design of the new IC title. I hate how it looks. I want the uh, I want I want the I white don't, strap. I don't hate it, but back. I am. A, I like I prefer that, but I don't hate the new one. I think you only hate the new one that's not though. <laughs> it's just not eye catching. It just looks like a generic belt to me. Like I don't it doesn't do anything. Like I don't like the US title belt either. I preferred the one with the American flag like through it, but like at least it's got a giant ass eagle and shit. Like at least it looks like something. Like the Intercontinental title just giant looks so eagle. it's a the IC title is a basic bitch belt. It looks like a basic bitch belt. And that's nothing against Gunther. I just don't. I've never liked the way the title looks. Um, but so so you you think regardless, it's Cody Punk, no matter what. Uh, to a large degree, yes. Like I said, I I'll give some Gunther and Jay possibilities for third and fourth, but I think they're a distant third and an even more distant fourth. And I think Drew's a he's a fifth looking from another field. So who do you have winning, Cody or Punk? Just to not repeat it and make Cody get to it a different way, say Punk. That's where I'm leaning towards too. If it's Cody Punk, which it looks like it's gonna be, 
I would not let Cody win. I would let Cody, once again, hard times, has to finish the story, have to go through Chamber to get his right to go. Because you have Punk win, which locks up him and Seth, and you could tease that he's going to go to Roman, but no, he wants Seth because Seth's been talking shit. And then you have Cody have to run through the Chamber to get to Roman. you got to build up Cody, and you put Jimmy or Solo in there. You put people in there to block Cody off, and then Cody has to overcome them to get his rematch with Roman. That's what I would have happen because Cody basically is, and and, and I'm not I'm not going to take credit for this. As they said this on, uh, you know, wrestling with Freddie, that they basically are doing Dusty Rhodes's hard times uh, storyline all over again with Cody, which that's fine. I don't have any problem with that. But him winning the Rumble a second time is not hard times. Him losing it, being the last one eliminated, and then having to run through Chamber to get to Roman, that's hard times. If you want to do the story right, you got to make Cody earn it, and Cody has to earn it through the chamber. So yeah, I would even suggest too do the opposite of what they did last year, because one thing that kind of irked me last year was you know Cody being the babyface defeating the heel who went longer than him, you know number thirty defeating number one. So I kind of want Cody to be early this year and not win. Faces, like I want him to be like number one, two, or three. You know, faces winning should never come out at thirty. Ever. Yeah, I thought that was a weird choice. Yeah. Ever. And Punk, and I'm t- I'm telling you this right now, I would be shocked if Punk comes out before 22. Oh, I was going to say myself, yeah, I'm in the 20s for him as far as yeah, I guess, Punk, yeah. Punk is not coming out before 22. If he does and then wins it, props to Punk. Not that Punk can't go. I We've seen Punk wrestle 30, 40-minute matches in AEW. But every time a big person's coming back at Rumble, they never come out before the you know 22 or, or later, usually 23 or later. Um, yeah. who do you, uh, who do you have as the surprise? I'm not saying a legend who, but, but and you can pick, you can pick a legend. Who do you think is going to be probably the main surprise showing up for rumble? And then you can also throw an NXT guy in there as well. Kind of like, with the- um, a legend of all legends. I'm going to say in here now, the indie God, the Deathmatch king. Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona. Welcome, Matt Cardona, back into the fold. Yes. Here's here's my hope. I I would love that, but I don't want him to stay. I because if he comes back, I and I I actually was talking to a, a coworker about this today because he was he, he brought up he was talking about like Zach Ryder and I was like I was like you know he's like don't call him Zach Ryder call him Matt Cardona like he's he deserves to be called by the name he he is. He goes oh no he's great go, he is great and he's made himself great on the indie circuit i'm afraid if he were to come back which great he's working with his wife again you know with chelsea and stuff like that but i would be afraid that if he comes back he's going to be mid card and he deserves more than that now especially with punk there and cody and roman and all them i feel like cardona isn't going to be looked at as a viable threat even though he's built himself up plus king of deathmatch you ain't doing those in WWE. You can do those in well, AEW. He's not doing those in <laughs> anywhere else anyway. He does those two of them. That's the I, know, I, know, <laughs> I know. I know. But 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 he could but he can play that persona in AEW, and then you can have him like feud with Mox and shit. He ain't gonna get that in WWE. He's gonna be just Matt Cardona. If anything, he'll come out to the woo woo woo, and the crowd will go oh. And it's like don't come, don't be Zack Ryder for a night. If you're gonna come back, be Cardona. But I would, I'd be much more like open to it if he was like doing like Carlito, where he shows up and everyone's excited, like, "Oh, is he gonna come back?" And he's like, "No, not yet. He's gonna go oh, back." I don't know, man. Indies. I so part of part of my logic too is I do feel like he's kind of wrapped up a lot of shit. Like he feels like I feels like he's wrapped up in shit at NWA. He still has a shitload of belts, doesn't he? Doesn't he have like ton, a ton? Yeah, of they're, belts? They're, they're indie belts, and I bet you if he got if he told like Triple H or whoever was like, "Hey, listen." I still got these few dates I got to finish. I bet you they'd let him because they've done that before with some people. And I can see them letting it with him. Um, I think he'd have a lot of fun. And I, I do understand what you're saying, maybe because of like punk and, and so on and so forth. I do think, though, y- you could make him like obviously not exactly Gunther, but in the same vein of just like a really top mid card draw to at least start with. Like there are those spots that are needed and they never even gave him that shot before. You know what I mean? Like his IC title run was one day. His U S title run was pretty short as well. Like 
you know what I mean? I started to go from the there, height, you know what I mean? Because the height those of spots his, need to be filled. The height of his uh, career, I, I mean, granted, he won that one match at Mania, is, was, was being John Cena's, you know, butt buddy for like, what, was like a month or two? <laughs> that was the height of his career in WWE. I'm, saying, um, I'm not saying the height. I think <laughs> of, of, the height. Point of, of his in terms of his like popularity of being like at, at at the peak of his career there was when he was attached to Cena because he was generic uh, look alike with Kurt Hawkins for, for Edge's team, and then he was Zack Ryder. But Zack Ryder wasn't looked at. And I liked Zack Ryder, but Zack Ryder wasn't looked at like at any you know as any threat to anything, you know. But as Cardona, he could be. I just don't I, – I would be more inclined if Cardona showed up after Survivor Series so we can get through this rock, punk stuff, get through this stuff. So Cardona's, like, return doesn't feel overshadowed by, like, all the stuff happening. And if he were to show up, like, in in the summer when a lot of that stuff's kind of not simmered down but kind of, you know, not so heightened. Because I if he, if he comes back, I want him to come back and actually have it mean something. I don't want it to be, like, a – Oh, you know, oh, cool. It's Matt Cardona. He's back. Oh, isn't that Zack Ryder? Yeah, but he's better now. Okay, cool. And then, you know, oh, he's, he's a random, random I just, person on Raw. I guess the, I, no, I totally get what you're saying. I would want that, too. I guess just my my pivot to that is you can make more than just the main event matter. You know what I mean? You can make a mid-card draw. You know what I mean? I <laughs> would be as much if, as given the time. if given the yeah, time. And, and, they, and hopefully, yeah, I, I hope they do. I hope they do too. I, I would. I wouldn't be upset. I just would be bummed if he came back. And you know, like we've seen some people come back and we're like, "Oh yes, they're finally gonna get the opportunity." And nope, they're right back where they were. Cool. That sucks. Like Shelton Benjamin, most one of the biggest missed opportunities in WWE. You didn't. You got yeah, yeah. And then he came back, and then he was just, "Oh yeah, hurt business." And Shelton's just there. And now we have Carrying Cross is another one. Oh, he's back, and they still haven't really done shit with him. Um, I do say, oh, what about NXT? Who who do you think on the NXT roster is guaranteed a spot? I, I don't want to say Braun and Breaker again because I feel like I always say him. Um, he's the obvious pick, though. <laughs> I know, and again, because again, kind of like I was saying with um, like Stratton at the moment, like if he feels right for it because he feels he's not in the title contention right now, like it feels like. You, now go. Um, I'm trying to think of who else on the, on the main roster. I don't know. Do you, people do, do, you come count, do you count Carmelo as NXT or not? Because he's kind of no, popular. No. The fact that he's had multiple SmackDown matches and like is about to have another one this week. Like, yeah, nah, he's pretty much main roster. Although I do think he'll have a rumble appearance. I don't see why. Oh, he, why yeah, I, he's definitely in there. Um, I, mean, I think I think you could throw someone like Trick Williams in there, and not even necessarily as a call up. Sometimes they throw people in there too, just to kind of like give a bit of a rub. Yeah, and I could so I could see that being a possibility. I think he'd be a good like get in there, just look good for a few minutes, maybe an elimination or two, and then you know someone dumps him. Like I said, not even necessarily call up. I do think he could do a little bit more warming up, but I I think it's a good way to just kind of test him, if you will. That was that was going to be my pick too. If we if we weren't going to count Braun or Carmelo. Trick yeah. definitely because you can get the crowd doing the whoop that trick, get that thing going. It's a fun entrance. Exactly. Yeah. He's in there for about you know five to ten minutes is like that yeah. middle of the rumble guy, and then he eventually gets dumped out. Um, I actually have three people that I once one seems pretty locked in without them advertising it. And then the other two are, are ones that I would love to show up that I think a lot of people aren't thinking of. The one obvious one is Brock. I think Brock's going to come in and he's going to throw out Gunther because I still think Brock Gunther mania is going to happen. I think it's I think if you're not going to put Gunther in the world title match, which I don't see that happening, you got to give him someone that's in the legitimate threat. And on the roster right now, outside of like Roman, Seth, Punk, Cody, Brock Gunther, that just seems like money on the pa- on paper. Like you got it. That that Bye. that just seems like a must. Or Bobby Bye. Lashley. My only um, qualm to that is, how do you get Brock in there dumping Gunther without somebody dumping Brock? Then that's going to set up a whole nother. Like I think Brock, you just simply have you have, it, you, have Gunther, you have Gunther get upset that he got eliminated, and you have Imperium and Gunther. Yeah, back in. yeah, and get because that's always been the one uh, thing that that been, has been frustrating. Royal Rumbles is that anyone who's not in the Rumble can run in there. And throw somebody out, and that person's still out. 
that's that's always been like why is she, like what was it what, i think it was jericho ran down like mid-match and like hit sean with like a chair and threw him out of the ring like oh sean's limited like what but jericho's already gone like why is sean eliminated like it's stupid they've, so, they've gone back and forth on that because there was also one year where they actually did do the opposite and they're like no he's out it doesn't count so that's well, another more times, more times than not more, more times than not no yeah yeah sure. so I would see Gunther getting tossed out by Brock and then in him sending Kaiser and Vinci and then, you know, he, they get tossed out and Gunther's in, and then they just battle like all the way back to the edge. I can see that happening. Now the two that I'm going to pick, I wouldn't consider them legends. I, I, I enjoy one. I love one of them because of his channel, but uh, Tyler Breeze. Okay. I would, I would love Tyler Breeze because you know, up, up, down, down. Uh, because he is working again. Yeah. Uh, so he he can go, so they can bring him in. I would love to see him do something with Pretty Deadly. I think that's – how how do you not put Tyler Breeze with Pretty Deadly based off his character? Uh, and then the other one I feel is like a um, sentimental uh, to get him out there, and that's Bo Dallas. Got to get Bo out there. Because Bo was Uncle Howdy. They were going to build to something with it. Then Bray happened, uh, and he's just kind of been nothing. Like you're, you're, you're telling me you got nothing for, for Bo. You got nothing for Bo now. Come on, have Bo come and do the rumble. Watch the crowd lose their shit if Bo Dallas comes out. Um, I, I like that. I think it'd be a little sad when he gets eliminated, but I do overall like the idea. He's gonna get his moment though, because yeah, I yeah, even with yeah. Edge, Edge still got eliminated when he came out. Like it's. Give him his moment. Have him come out there. Crowd loser shit. He hits moves. He gets to believe. And then you could toss him. Or do whatever. But he's out there getting this moment. And you'll get a Bray chant out of it as well. And it'll be a nice moment right there. I think I think it's a... If if he's willing to do it. Which I think Bo is. Because I think Bill, Bo's still under contract too. So uh, if you were going to bring Bo back. This is the moment to do it. To get the crowd really to accept them not that they they wouldn't but if you want to get that surprise and then awe you bring bo dallas back in the rumble uh and then you can bring then you can then you can slowly integrate him back into the lineup whether it's back at nxt or whether it's on smackdown or raw this would be where i would bring bo back because enough i don't want to say enough time we all miss bray but enough time has passed where it's not like they're cashing in on it or anything like that but it's it's time to get Bo back in the ring. I mean, it, it, it's it's time. Uh, so that would those would be the, those three: Brock, Breeze, and Bo. If they popped up, I'd be I'd be happy. Um, but yeah. Is there any possibility of a New Day Big E return? Big E. Now, granted, he could just be trying to toss speculation. Big E says there's still no timetable um, on his neck. Now, granted, he could be full of shit to you know veer people it's away wrestling. yeah it's, it is wrestling after all i would love if biggie showed up i would be happy as hell if biggie showed up and you know i don't know i don't think imperium will be in the in the rumble match um you know kaiser and and, and vinci but if they are and you could have like gunther and they're all beaten up on xavier because you gotta always pay attention to that shit because it's because the the the, you, the uh the the times that they come out is very story driven a lot of the time but if you see like all three of them in the ring and they're all beating the shit out of Xavier and Kofi, and then you're like, well, okay, Biggie's got to come out at this point, <laughs> and, you know. But if if he's if he's throwing a smoke screen, I would love if Biggie came out because I miss Biggie. I miss him so I didn't realize how much I missed him until he was actually gone. Um, but yeah, I would I would love that. Uh, I'm nice. always- that'd, that'd be another. Would be some huge props if you get something like a Biggie or a Bo. Oh. Again, that's damn. It'd be huge. It'd be huge. And I'd be ecstatic for it. Do you think we'll see anyone? Do, do, okay, okay. Well, I preface this because I think someone potentially could. Do you see anyone from AEW debuting? As in, in like, who? Well, the obvious one would be Andrade. Oh, Andrade. Okay, yeah, yeah But yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, do you think anyone else that maybe that is – that maybe hasn't been getting utilized anymore. That maybe hasn't isn't fully locked in on a contract. That could show up. I mean, we didn't think fucking Mickey was going. Mickey was 
wasn't she TNA Women's Champion and she showed up for the Rumble? Yeah, that that is a slightly different thing. I was even gonna say earlier. I was like, any chance Jordan Grace is in it? Like, will they keep that gimmick going? Like, yeah. hey, we brought the TNA champ back again. You know, um, <laughs> Nick, Aldis, I don't know Nick we'll... Aldis and and Adam Pearce joined the Rumble. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't, be, I, I wouldn't oh, be mad at that either. I wouldn't be mad at either one of them popping up. I'd be I'd be cool with that because I'm a, I'm a fan of both, especially Pierce. Yeah. I think he's 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 really cool. Yeah. Um. Speaking of in the same vein, Corey Graves has kind of hinted he's been cleared. He has been cleared. He can work again. So like I think that I've always enjoyed the like three, two, one. His music hits, and you just see him step up like fucking take off. I would jacket. I would I would geek out so much if Wade got thrown into it. Wade would be fun. Give me, give me I, some yeah. Wade Barrett. I want that burning hammer. I want. I want Wade Barrett. I'm, I'm even cool with like Corey Graves followed by Wade Barrett to take out Corey Graves. Kind of gimmick. Like we've seen that before. Can we, so. can, can we please no Pat McAfee? No Pat McAfee. I, yeah, I, I like, just don't I like Pat. Just, I like Pat, but don't waste a rumble yeah. spot on Pat. Uh, Pat. Uh, I hope uh, in a weird way. I hope Bad Bunny's on in it. Like just because we've seen yeah. it. Like you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do we see our truth in the rumble? Um, our truth in both rumbles. Yeah. Uh, our truth. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. Th- well. God. What was, no. Well, Santino's in TNA. Santina's not. Again, though. Santina's yeah. not in the rumble. Again, though. What's the the relationship with TNA? Like, who knows? Know. Like, if that even matters, who? I agree. would think TNA is you closer know? to AEW than they are WWE. But then Mickey, you know. No. I don't think they are. I think they both work in New Japan. But I don't think there's really – I don't think they're bad, like, beefing with each other. But, like, that yeah. – as far as, like, mixing talent, they haven't done that in a long time. Honestly, the, the biggest shocker – a lot of people think MJF will show up. MJF ain't going nowhere. He's AEW. No. He ain't coming. And he's hurt. I, I'm, he's hurt, people. I'm still very – I'm still very much assuming he, that dude signed – Months ago, <laughs> oh, I think yeah. they signed him, and, and him plus they wouldn't have done the injury angle with him, and then had no. him just leave. No, I don't think this is happening. But what about Okada? I I wonder. I mean, we pull an AJ here. You, is he AJ level? I guess I don't know. No, but like I said, I, AJ, I finished, like AJ finished at Wrestle Kingdom, and then. Yeah. Uh, he shows up at Rumble and boom goes from there. Okada is one of the greatest wrestlers in the world more of a, that we know of. I just again, I don't, I don't want to underestimate him. I don't know if the audience knows that. I just don't think he'd be as loud as an AJ. You know, AJ had more real presence for they, years, but they are in Florida. Yeah, and Jacks and St. Peter's. I mean, they're in Tampa. I mean, that I'm not, yeah. I'm not. You know, Jacksonville's relatively close there, so the AEW crowd knows them and i will it's royal rumble i can see AEW fans being there i think okada will still get a huge pop i think wrestler wrestling fans today are smarter and more knowledgeable especially about new japan yeah no and i think okada would get a huge pop i don't know i i think okada still doesn't know what the hell he wants to do but if okada showed up that would be insane that would be definitely insane. it will definitely be i think one of the Biggest shocks, like I'd be, sh- I'd be shocked to see it. Like it's not on the possible realm of possibility. Yeah, I, I, I am leaning more towards AEW just because I feel like he, he knows AEW a little bit more, and like you know, it's Osprey. They got they took Osprey, they got Omega, but yeah, possible. I mean, I feel like Triple H is kind of like tried the interesting things with like Shinsuke going to Noah. So like, I feel like those you know fences could be mended. You know, I, I, yeah. I mean, either way, there are so many possibilities of the Royal Rumble. We. I mean, we could be blowing so and much. we're going to get none of it. We could be blowing yeah, all this well, up, and then we get no bow. Be... We get no bow. We get no economy. It's just straight. All the mid-carters. It's going to be yes. Kira Tozawa. It's going to be. Yeah. Hey, no knock on Tozawa. No Whoa, knock on you him. started shit-talking him last week way before. No, I said I've worked with the guy, you and were, I love the guy. You, but he you would not be out him as, like, he's not winning. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. He's not winning. your joke. Anything else you'd like to add before we end this? Uh, it's going to be fun. I think regardless, I think even if like, let's say the obvious happens, you know, punk Bailey, I'm still, I think I'm going to have fun getting there. You know what I mean? I just hope that both rumbles have a couple surprises. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it's too hard to book a fun rumble. And as long as Shane McMahon doesn't dominate and you have a couple of fun surprises, it'll be a fun night. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. 
Ronda Rousey yeah. comes back. Ronda Rousey is back. Um, <laughs> no one, no one wants. That. I love how she wrestled for one night at Ring of Honor, and we haven't heard from her since. I think that was always just a Maria Shafir like favor, like hey, you know, it'll get you a it'll get you publicity, Tony, and like she, you know, if she wants to do it for she'll do it for me just to get my name up there a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Um, now, like I so, said on previous episode. I will not get to watch Rumble live because I will be at Collision. Oh, that's Collision. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I will be at Collision when Rumble airs. So I will I'm be texting able to get you to watch all the spoilers. Don't be a dick. Wait, uh, holy I shit, Goldberg! Goldberg's number one. <laughs> God, I hope he gets tossed right at the beginning. Don't get me started on by Goldberg. Andre Chase. Okay, if Goldberg gets tossed by Andre Chase, you will make me okay. the biggest Andre Chase fan. If that happens, I will wear. I if if, if if Andre Chase is two and Goldberg's one, and he tosses out Goldberg. I will buy a U shirt right away and I will wear it on the next episode. That is how oh, committed yeah. I am to Goldberg. Just I've always I've it. always joked if I won like the ultimate lottery, like I would totally do that in a wrestling company. I would totally be like Goldberg, two million. <laughs> Rumble, you're out in five seconds. You're out like, in five seconds. Down. Hey, that you're, that's the perfect conditioning for you. That's all you have to prepare for. Five seconds. Just get in there. Hey, the record is is on is what what like a th- one second. I think it can be Santino's time. Goldberg, go for it. Don't injure somebody on the way out. Come on, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I won't get to watch Rumble until at least Sunday uh, at midnight Sunday morning, or or we'll just be too tired driving back. That I'll probably have to wait until Sunday morning. So I'm gonna have to like not touch my phone, not get on the computer, nothing. Because and I'm it's gonna be hard not to try to get out of the arena without hearing somebody say some shit. So I won't get to watch it live because I'll yeah, be yeah, buddy. I I'm, I love you. I wish you luck. <laughs> I don't trust the people around you. <laughs> All I know is I right now we only know one match because I am so excited for Collision because we got the Elimination Trios Cage match. I am giddy. Oh, nice. All right, there you go. Yes, yeah, we got a House of then. Black against Daniel Garcia and FTR in a cage. Uh, Fuck yeah. I'm so excited. Uh, of all the of all the wrestling um, shows I've been to and, uh, and, and been a part of, uh, I've only ever seen, from, from a professional standpoint, like WWE, WCW, all that, I've only ever seen, I think, one, maybe two cage matches. And out of like, 300 plus shows one was like hogan boss man and then uh i can't if like i said if i saw a second one i can't remember who it was but i am so stoked that i'm getting i'm getting a cage match i'm, I'm so happy <laughs> i'm here no i'm sorry so you may be curious so i have a master doc of every wrestling event i've ever attended i'm 400 uh-huh. something um never seen a cage match by like a major company i've been in like I've been around maybe about ten of them actually on the indies. Yeah, but I've, I've, I've never seen companies I've worked for. I've, I've had that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I've never. Yeah, I've 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 seen. Obviously, I've never been to a rumble. Uh, I've never seen a lot, or the I've one, never seen a Hell in a Cell. The, uh, Ro- the one Triple H one when Roman had to defend the title was the one I was at. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I've never I'm, seen I'm a Hell in a Cell. Cell. Oh no, I'm Hell in a Cell in Mania. I saw. So I had technically seen a Hell in a Cell. I saw Triple H and Undertaker in a Cell. You went to a mania? I'm going to two. Yeah. Oh, lucky bastard. Wait, or three. I'm going to two or three. I'm going to a couple. The weeks. biggest the biggest pay-per-view I've ever been to was Survivor Series. And that was 1994. Oh, that's, that's that's probably because I actually kind of, depending on the card, I kind of like that more than SummerSlam. So to me, it might be like my number one bucket list thing is the Survivor Series. Um, if they're doing Survivor Series matches, right. though. Which mine was. That's what I'm mine saying. Was my Depends favorite. on the card. <laughs> yeah, that was the one where Sean and and Diesel broke up, and then Yoko Undertaker casket match. Like I got, I was I was there for that. Okay, uh, it was great. Um, wait, 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 anyway, wait. We you saw the fucking. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Don't end it. You saw the weird like Undertaker screen shit. No, that was Royal Rumble. Oh, okay, that, okay, okay. No, that, that, that was wasn't even a casket match. That was just a regular match between them. And then all the goons came out and attacked oh, they put him. They in the casket. Yeah, they put him in a casket. No, oh, That's why I assumed uh, it was a casket uh, match. Okay. No, Survivor Series 94 uh, was in San Antonio. Like, Chuck Norris was there. That was when um, you had uh, – That was when Jerry Lawler had his midgets and Doink had, like, Dink and, like, the, the, uh, the Wheezy, um, whatever. There's a, yeah. there's a TV show right now on Discovery Channel called um, – Big big little brawlers about midget wrestlers, and um, 
one of the daughters is a second generation from one of Waller's midget uh, wrestlers. And by the way, don't get mad that we keep saying midget because Hornswoggle says it's okay. Yes, it does. And I've met, I've, met, I've, met, I've, met, I've met Swoggle. He's totally fine with that. Um, he is. Anyway, no, he is. Yes. Uh, so anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this this discussion of the Royal Rumble predictions. What are you guys' predictions? Who do you guys think is going to win? What surprise entrances do you think are going to show up? Um, do you guys think it's going to be as simplistic as we think it is, whether it's going to be Cody Punk, Bianca, or not Bianca, Bailey, and uh, Becky, or do you think someone else is going to win? Let us know. Also, we have seen your comments for stuff that you guys are requesting for stuff to talk about. We want to hear more. What do you guys want to hear? Want to hear us talk about on the show? Whether it's old topics from older wrestling or what have you, we're very open to it. Let us know. But uh, follow us on all the social media outlets you see below. And until next time, in case we don't see you, go watch some wrestling. Go have some Do fun. It. Don't try Do it at it. home unless it's on your little brother. Do it. Do it. So, goodbye. Mwah. <laughs> and good night. Bye.